Hello everyone, Wolfie here, coming at you with another one. Now, in this one, I'm going to be going over how to change your NAT type. So, there are three different NAT types, NAT types 3, 2, and 1, 1, 2, 3. But before we do hop into that, I'd like to mention that there's a difference between your NAT types and whether your NAT type is open or closed, because you need your NAT type to be open in order to play multiplayer on certain games. So two entirely different things, your NAT type and whether the NAT type is open or closed. So for example, you could have a NAT type of one and it could be closed. Having a NAT type of one doesn't automatically mean that your NAT type will be open. But like I said, in this one, I'll be going over the different NAT types and how it's possible for you to change your NAT type. So let's start off with NAT type three. If you have a NAT type of three, you're usually working with a hotspot, maybe your internet is from a satellite, or maybe you're in a dorm room and you're connected to the dorm room's network. Now all of those instances would make you have a NAT type of three. Now for a NAT type of two, usually there is a modem which is given to you by your service provider, which is connected to a router, and then you're connecting off of that router and that would give you a NAT type of two. You can also have a NAT type of two if you have a two-in-one, which some internet providers do use. They use two-in-one cable modem and router. Being connected to one of those would also give you a NAT type of two. Now for a NAT type of one, how that usually works is you're connected directly to a cable modem without any kind of router or anything like that involved. Of course, the downside to this one is you can only connect one device at a time because you're plugging directly into your cable modem. Now, a NAT type of two whenever you're playing games is perfectly fine. So is a NAT type of one, but like I mentioned, you won't be able to connect other devices to the internet if you're connected directly to your cable modem. Now, if you wanna change your NAT type in between these, it's pretty simple to change from two to one, and you could actually do this by staying connected to your router as well. So let's say your NAT type is a NAT type of two, and you want it to be a NAT type of one, what you're gonna need to look into is you're actually gonna need to log into your router and you're gonna wanna set a DMZ for your PlayStation. After doing that, that will normally change your NAT type to a NAT type of one. You could also plug your PlayStation directly into your cable modem, but I'm pretty sure that you're not gonna wanna do that because then no one else will be able to use the internet since only one device can be connected that way at a time. So I believe that pretty much covers it for changing your NAT type. Now, if this video helped you out, remember to leave a like and subscribe. I'm Wolfie, and I'll see you next time. Bye.